All right, everyone, and welcome to group break number eight. We are doing the 10 box mixer here. We got some 2019 20 series one and series two retail, and then also some 2018 19 series two retail. So, uh, on top of that, we got uh, trilogy artifacts, alert, and SP game use hobby boxes from this year as well. Uh, for those who are looking to join a break, we've got a couple coming up next week. Our, the first one um, will be on April 30th next week, which is the second half of the Series 1, Series 2 Hobby Battle. The first half is already sold out, and that is happening on Saturday. So the second half is, if you're watching on Twitch right now, or in, the link is in the chat. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube later, it'll be in the description. And then finally, there's a new product coming out next week in Upper Deck Credentials. This one has like a Panini Contenders vibe to it. Uh, and so with that, uh, it you know it's got rookie ticket autos it's a fairly rookie heavy product there's some cool cool vet stuff in there but uh yeah it looks pretty decent so it'll be interesting to see okay so with uh wild card rookie redemption just before we even get started here uh again just uh if it's a wild card rookie redemption what we'll do now is since the checklist is live we'll go look at the checklist for it and so whatever team it comes up as on the checklist let's so say for example it's we pulled the SP Rookie 2 in our first one of this and it ended up being Kale McCarr. So that went to the Colorado Avalanche because it was Kale McCarr now. If the checklist wasn't public, it'd be random, but because it's public now, uh, we know who the cards are going to. So yeah, anyways, let's hop in and let's get the randoms going here. So thank you to everyone who uh, purchased a spot this week. And yeah, good luck. We'll still do three times on the names and three times on the teams. And go from there. So here we go. Once, twice, and three times. And there we go. Get you back in there. Paste you there. There we go. And teams three times. Here we go. Uh, once, twice, and three times there you go oh canucks on top oilers on the bottom here let's see who got the canucks all right so arnold you have the canucks bill with the calgary flames patrick with the montreal canadians sean with the new york rangers timothy with the minnesota wild jesse with the tampa bay lightning paul with the colorado avalanche frank with the florida panthers jesse with the vegas golden knights Paul with the Anaheim Ducks. Paul Smitsko with the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, Francis Sagan with the Chicago Blackhawks. Greg with the Boston Bruins. Mike with the Buffalo Sabres. Ryan with the Arizona Coyotes. Glenn with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Taylor with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Jamie with the Winnipeg Jets. Brian with the Philadelphia Flyers. Stefan with the Los Angeles Kings. BJ with the Detroit Red Wings. Sean with the San Jose Sharks. Ethan with the New York Islanders. Allen with the Carolina Hurricanes, Paul Schmitzko with the Washington Capitals, Arnold with the Nashville Predators, Ron with the Ottawa Senators, Andrew with the Dallas Stars, Jordan with the New Jersey Devils, Ian with the Toronto Maple Leafs, Francis Savoie with the St. Louis Blues, and Jordan with the Edmonton Oilers. So there are your teams. All right. So here we go. Uh, like I said, we're going to start with some Series 1 here uh, from this year. So looking for the hues out of this. And again, just let us know what your thoughts on the new camera angle are. And if, you know, as we go along, if there's anything you want to see differently. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, the Islanders are decent. I think you, I think Dal Cole might be Series 2. He's either, I think he was Series 2 last year. So you got a little bit of an extra there. I'll try not to bump the uh, camera too much. But obviously, a little bit of a different angle. Box is empty. Um... We'll throw that there for now. We'll keep the packs half and half, something like that, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this, though. Definitely, I always like the Series 1, Series 2. So, uh, make sure I hold these high enough. And we're starting off with the UD Portraits for the Vegas Golden Knights of... Going to focus, there we go, of Max Pacioretty. Nice Max Pacioretty. Portraits for the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, we'll stack them, I guess, there for now. So I'm just going to slide my keyboard out of the way too, give myself a little bit of room here. Uh, but yeah, good luck, everyone. Hopefully we see some cool stuff pulled. And yeah, 
We got some, uh, starting off with the first young gun for the San Jose Sharks of Lean Bergman. Nice Lean Bergman. Pull a Quinn Hughes young gun, eh? That'd be, I mean, that'd be nice. Always nice to get a Quinn Hughes young gun. Uh, next up, we got a canvas of Nick Foligno for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Nick Foligno canvas for the Blue Jackets and base on the rest. Mm. Yeah, I, I think this camera angle is a little bit better just for focusing on the ac actual card suit. Oh, we have our first jersey for the Vegas Golden Knights of Alex Tuck. Nice jersey for the Vegas Golden Knights there. We'll put you back there. And base on the rest. Keep it rolling here. Let's see what we've got. We've got, looks like a base pack here. Yeah, that's just a base pack. So series one generally has a few extra base packs just because there's a few less insert sets. There's the main difference is that there's no um, OPG in it. So you don't get all the OPG rookies and stuff, which is why series two, you'll have a bigger hit stack. But uh, next up, a young guns for the LA Kings of Matt Waugh or Matt Roy. Nice one there. He's going to be a pretty solid defenseman, I think. So yeah, the Vegas Golden Knights have had a couple really hot starts lately. So uh next up vitaly abramov rookie portraits for the ottawa senators nice one there for the senators actually sorting through by the way the stacks of packages for opg platinum were massive like the the average person i think there are 580 some odd cards that are all shipped out from it so uh oh canucks young gun of zach McEwen. not the canuck you're hoping for but still a Nice little young gun there. <laughs> I mean, Billy, that's sometimes how it works, but hey, you got some uh, Val Mackey's in Series 2, and he's a pretty good defender there. So, uh, Patrick Kane canvas for the Chicago Blackhawks. Nice Patrick Kane canvas for the Blackhawks there. Uh, but yeah, um, overall, it's just been... Uh, like, OPG Platinum was really, really solid. Uh, nice right-wing shooting stars for the Washington Capitals. TJ Oshie. TJ Oshie shooting stars for the Washington Capitals. Uh, there are some teams that had, like... I think the Kings were massive... Like, had a massive stack. The Blackhawks had a massive stack. So, um, this just looks like a base pack here. Yep, just plain old base pack. And last pack of the first half here. So a couple young guns, got a jersey card to talk. Not bad, not bad at all. If I remember correctly, ooh, nice. Teddy Bluger, young gun for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Nice one there for the Penguins. So yeah, three young guns, jersey card in the first half. Let's see a good young gun canvas. We haven't pulled him a car young gun canvas yet. I know it's a lot to ask for, but it would be nice to see one. Uh, UD Portraits of Huberto for the Florida Panthers. <laughs> All the Oilers fans get in the flames, eh? The break gods really are uh, just trolling at this point. <laughs> Next up, we've got a base pack here. So yeah, I was going to say the base packs tend to run, you know, in, in pairs is what they've seen from opening up the Series 1 retail. So normally you see a couple in a row, but uh, we'll see if that continues. No, nope, that is not the case. We've got a canvas here for the Edmonton Oilers of Darnell Nurse. Nice Nurse uh, canvas for the Oilers there. But yeah, so again, let us know how the camera angle is for the break. Um, if you like it better, if you like it like the other one better, we're again very open to feedback on this. So uh, next up, Young Gun for the St. Louis Blues of Mackenzie McEachern. The young gun that is actually not a picture of the right player, but that's a little Easter egg with that card. It's actually a, a picture of Andres Boardman on it. So just a fun little thing there. Uh, next up, looks like we got a base pack. Yeah, just a base pack here. So that's that's kind of one of my like favorite little Easter egg things of series, series one is that it is kind of like a misprint, but at the same time, it's just kind of cool if you collect like all that type of stuff so uh next up 
another base pack there, by the way. So again, they, they do tend to run, you know, kind of in the same cluster, for lack of a better phrase. Uh, portraits of Tavares for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Tavares portraits for the Maple Leafs. Let's see, what are we gonna get in this one? Uh, looks like a base pack here. Yep. I think we got one more, or two more young guns left in this box. And maybe one more canvas. Something like that. So, uh, there's a canvas of Slavin for the Carolina Hurricanes. It might be, is it Slavin or Slavin? I think it's Slavin actually. Uh, next. Oh, there we go. Speaking of a Quinn Hughes Young Guns, uh, here we go for Arnold. Nice. Good start there for the Canucks getting the Quinn Hughes Young Gun. We'll get that one in a uh, sleeve and kind of stack them in the back for now while we have some box space to uh, stack them on. Good start there with the Quinn Hughes. There we go. Put them right back there. Uh, Patrick, you had the Montreal Canadiens. That's a, that's a pretty good one to get. <laughs> Next up, we have just a base pack there. Yep. And final pack, really solid, solid start here. Got the Quinn Hughes Young Gun. Um, Again, can't complain about any time you get a Quinn Hughes Young Gun or even a Jack Hughes. Uh, finishing off with a base pack here. So it's going to get the base pile out of the way here. And we'll get into some Series 2 from last year. Switch things up a little bit here. So let's see how Series 2 from last year is going to treat us. It's, uh again, you got some good rookies in it. The overall rookie crop is pretty solid. Uh, let's... Move these to the side here. So I'm just gonna try to organize things a little bit differently so you can see all the box cuts and stuff like that. There we go. It's probably a little bit better like that. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, the young guns are, they're the same every single year. Uh, oop, bump the camera. Hang on, let me fix that up. There we go. Uh, the young guns, print is normally pretty similar every single year uh i think series one is just it's a little bit different this year but i mean i don't know exactly what the print run was on it and again there's no actual true way to figure it out you can kind of guesstimate it but it's still like decent it's probably within the same range of every single year um but yeah let's look at some old school Old school, we're going back a single year here. And let's see, we have an Austin Wagner rookie for the LA Kings. And then the base variations in these are really easy to pick out, so I don't have to, <laughs> I don't have to look out. I like what they did for the base variations this year because they're the triple exposures for 1819. Uh, we got a retro for the Panthers of Mike Hoffman, just a regular back there. Stack the base over there, I think. There we go. But yeah. Gamer Joe calling that Quinn Hughes early on. What else are you going to call? Uh, rookie portraits of LeJoie for the Senators. Nice LeJoie rookie portraits. I definitely like the uh, the portraits design from this year a little bit better. It's just a little bit on the memeier side, which I like. So uh, we have... Uh, nice for the Carolina Hurricanes, Nicholas Waugh, Young Guns. I think he just signed a contract actually the other day, re-upped with the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. So, But nice uh, Waugh Young Gun there. Next pack we've got, ooh, that's actually a good pull. Nice program of excellence canvas for the Tampa Bay Lightning of Matthew Joseph. Again, because it's a Team Canada logo, it goes to their current team. And his current team is the Tampa Bay Lightning. He's a good player. Very good player. So, nice pull there. Who had the Lightning? Uh, the Lightning were Jesse. 
get this in there in the top loader. There we go. You can join Quinn in the back for now. Faraby Young Gun. Yeah, the base design is pretty similar. This one is just more plain white, whereas there's a little bit of... Uh, ooh, nice. Silver rookie for the New York Rangers of Brett Howden. Those are always nice. I, I don't know which base design I like better. I like the Young Gun design of... Um, of 1819 better it's just like a little bit more cleaner to me but again it's still like they're both pretty nice uh galchenyuk update for the coyotes it's crazy that that was an update and you know this year he has since been on two other teams so next pack let's see what we've got here john gilmore young gun for the new york rangers gilmore for the rangers uh, if again, like, how, how's the camera angle? Everyone just want to make sure everything's good there. Uh, make sure it's all focusing fine. So uh, that's probably a little bit better to focus it like that first. Uh, portraits for the Ottawa Senators of Brady Kachuk. Nice little Kachuk portraits there. I gotta remember to try to keep the cards like here as opposed to you know over here. <laughs> glad to hear. Glad to hear that it's better. So. Let's keep it rolling. Let's see what we're gonna get. There we go for the Calgary Flames, marquee rookie of Dylan Dubé. Dubé's gonna be a heck of a player, I think. He's he's just been really good throughout his entire career. So as a prospect and then making the jump, he's just he's someone that I'm pretty excited to watch. Uh, UD Canvas of TJ Oshie for the Washington Capitals. And just base on the rest there. Next pack. Yeah, I don't know what base design I like better. I think I, I think I like this year or 1819's a little bit better. Uh Drake Batherson Young Gun for the Ottawa Senators. The Sens are good in both years. You got Batherson, you got Kachak. I mean, you've got Branstrom and the whole slew of young guns that they have in uh 1920. So I think they have seven total young guns in 1920. Uh and for the Vancouver Canucks, nice OPG rookie of Petey. Nice Elias Pedersen rookie right there. Always a bonus. Canucks are another team that's good in both years because you've got, I mean, they're series one more dominated, but you still have that chance of that canvas. You never know. Uh, marquee rookie retro for the Dallas Stars of Miro Heiskanen. Nice one there for the Stars. But yeah, the, uh, last year's rookie crop was really strong as well. It's just a little bit more defenseman orientated. So, uh, rookie portraits of Victor Edgesell for the Chicago Blackhawks. Edgesell rookie portraits there. Rasmus Dahlin, Heiskanen were two of the main ones. I mean, you have Petey, you have Kachuk, you have Svech. Uh, there's another good one. That's a player I really like personally. Is Sam Steele for the Anaheim Ducks. Nice young guns for the Anaheim Ducks there. Love his game. Him and uh, Troy Terry are two of the ones that I'm very interested to see how they do. They both look like they're going to be great players for the team for a long time. And a canvas of Mika Zibanejad for the New York Rangers. So, yeah, I like this mix-up of the years too. Because, again, you do get some different teams hitting just based off of the rookies and stuff like that. It really adds that nice little balance to it. So... Ah, uh, looks like we got a jersey card here, and it's a rookie materials of Jeremy Lozon for the Boston Bruins. Boston Bruins on the board with a jersey card. Who had the Bruins? Uh, Greg with the Bruins. Next pack. Uh, I forget. I don't quite remember what the crops will look like, but uh, Jacob McDonald, marquee rookie for the Florida Panthers. Um, but I think this one was like Batherson Steel. I forget who who else was in it, but I think Batherson and Steel were kind of like the two main guys, if I remember correctly. Uh, Spencer Fu for the Calgary Flames, Young Gun. Spencer Fu for the Flames. Top ten names for Young Guns last year. Next up, we've got. 
a Patterson rookie portraits for the Vancouver Canucks. Nice PD rookie portraits for the Canucks. And based on the rest there, three packs left. Really solid, like just solid box. Got a couple PD rookies, got some, got a Kachuk rookie. No major young gun, but uh, nothing, you know, too crazy. Looks like we have a base pack here. Just a base pack. Generally get one per series to retail box, one or two. So nothing out of the ordinary. Next pack, we've got an Oscar Kleppbaum canvas for the Edmonton Oilers. Now, what design do you like better? Do you like 2019-20 uh, or 2018-19? I kind of, I think I like 2018-19 just overall a little bit better. And finishing off with a Yuho Lamico Young Gun for the Florida Panthers. It's just a little bit cleaner, which I like personally. So, uh, get the base out of the way. There we go. So again, solid box. I got the Program of Excellence canvas. Forgot about that guy, actually. That's a nice Joseph there. So, uh, stack you here. And uh, I guess we're going to have to just kind of hide these off to the side here for right now. Could get some card stands or something. I don't know. We'll figure out a way to get them displayed. So uh, let's get into, let's hope for, uh, who are we going to get? Are we going to get Makar, uh, Doc, or Kako in this box? Or none of them. Who do you think we're going to get in this one? I'm going for... I'm going to go off the board and say we get a Merzlikens. He just signed a contract today. We'll see him in this. That's at least my hunch. All right. Stack one. Stack two. Box is empty. You got a Barrett Hayden vote there. I think Hayden. Is Hayden with Merzlikens? I forget who he's with, but well, let's see. One way to find out. Uh, starting off with a Subban update for the Devils. PK Subban update for the Devils. Next up, that pack, there we go. We have a Young Guns canvas for the St. Louis Blues of Clem Costin. Nice one there for the Blues. Francis Savoie, that is yours. Nice young gun canvas there for the Blues. He's a good player. And the Blues also have, I think the Blues are good in, uh, well, they're decent in Series 1 because they have, or Series 2 from last year because they have Robert Thomas as well. So, good start though. Oh, I put all the base in the uh, insert stack. Let's move that out of the way. There we go. Next up we have an Alexi Sorelia young guns for the Florida Panthers. This might be, is he with Makar? He might be with Makar. I know Prohorkin's with Makar every single time, so that's one, that's the name that you really look out for, so. Uh, rookie portraits of Max Jones for the Anaheim Ducks. Max Jones rookie portraits for the Ducks. I think Sorella's with, uh, with Makar. I'm not 100% sure, but think so at least. Uh, Kadri Opichi Blue for the Colorado Avalanche. Nice little update blue there. The vets are a little bit tougher to hit than the uh, rookies just because there's a lot less vets than rookies but let's see what we're dealing with here and I mean there's a Farabee marquee rookie not quite the young gun but got the marquee rookie out of the way so next pack let's see. We have uh, Adam Fox, marquee rookie for the New York Rangers. He's actually got some ink and uh, creden credentials. They're all like the variation ones, but still it's cool to see him finally have some on-card stuff. I know he was stickered in um, in Trilogy, so it'll be cool to see his stuff. Uh, Anthony Mantha, canvas for the Detroit Red Wings. Mantha, canvas for the Detroit Red Wings. Let's see. We've got uh, Ryan Lindgren for the New York Rangers Young Guns. Lindgren for the Rangers Young Gun. 
Yeah, I mean, I think we're gonna get a big young gun this box. It feels like it's a big young gun box, so. And if not, we got some heavy hitters in the back at least to kind of compensate for that. Uh, Joaquin Nygaard, rookie portraits for the Edmonton Oilers. Nygaard portraits for the Edmonton Oilers. And we've got a Dominic Kubelik, marquee rookie for the Chicago Blackhawks. The Blackhawks just hit a ton in this. Like, statistically speaking, at least, they have a lot of good rookies. So, uh, Ilya Mikheyev, marquee rookie for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But I feel like we've got a big young gun coming. I feel like, is it Makar? I'm not quite sure, but I feel like it's the Makar crop. Uh, Guillaume Brisebois for the Vancouver Canucks. Young guns there. Canucks have hit all three of their young guns actually already. McEwen, Brisebois, and Hughes. So really good start there for the Canucks. Next up, we've got a Holtby canvas for the Washington Capitals. Yeah, still, still kind of focusing out a little bit when I go into here. So, uh, next up, looks like just a base pack here. Again, you normally get one per series one or series two box. So, one or two per series two box. Nothing out of the ordinary. And we have uh, Tobias Bjornfoot, rookie portraits. Again, I love this portrait design better uh, for the LA Kings there. It's just so, so much like just, I don't know. It's just more unique. It's funnier, which I like better. It's more memorable. Uh, and Joey Decord, young gun for the Ottawa Senators. Uh, I don't think Breeze Bar Decord were with uh, Makar though, so. Maybe I got them mixed up. Maybe this is like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see who it is. Uh, Morgan Frost, OPG retro rookie for the Philadelphia Flyers. And got another young gun coming up here. We have, oh, it is Barrett Hayden. There we go. KJ got it right. Barrett Hayden young gun for the Arizona Coyotes. Nice one there. Who had the Yotes? Uh, the Yotes was Ryan. Nice Hayden Young gun there. I feel like Sorrell is sometimes with Makar, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Leonard Canvas for the Blackhawks. Robin Leonard Canvas for the Blackhawks. A few packs left here. Let's see how we're going to end things off. Looks like we got a jersey card coming. We have. Oh, that's actually a really good one for the New York Rangers. Capo Caco, Rookie Materials. Nice one for the Rangers there. We'll stick you right there for now. Good one for the Rangers. So that kind of, those last couple packs kind of turned the whole box around there. Next up, Rookie Portraits of Boquist for the New Jersey Devils. Jesper Boquist. And two packs to go here. What are we going to finish off with? We have uh, Otto Koivula, Young Guns for the New York Islanders. Islanders on the board with the Young Guns. And final pack here. Overall, I mean, the Kako Rookie Materials, Hayden Young Gun, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see what we're finishing off with, though. Uh, Emil Benstrom, Rookie Retro for the Columbus Blue Jackets. So... I think so far, actually, the series two box from last year might be the strongest. Got the program of excellence. I don't know. There's a cost in a young gun canvas in this box, too. Can't forget about that. So, but and then series one just had the insane, uh, the strongest rookie. So, I'm just going to clear up all the base here. There we go. It kind of fell over on me there. Okay. And we're moving back to 2019 20. Series one, here we go. All right, we saw Quinn in the first box. If it's anything like OPG Platinum, where Quinn and Jack follow each other around, I hope we see a Jack. So who had the Rangers though? Uh, the Rangers were Sean with the Rangers. All right, let's keep it, there we go. So 
here we go. I gotta move these base out of the way. Can't get them mixed up. Perfect. All right. Box is empty. Let's see, let's see a Jack Hughes. I mean, you always wanna see a Jack Hughes young gun, but we pulled a fair amount of his, I think, from series one, actually, so. Uh, portraits of Austin Matthews for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's see if it'll focus on there. Matthews portraits for the Leafs. Next pack. We have got a Defenseman Shooting Stars. These are the tougher ones to get of Dustin Bufflin for the Winnipeg Jets. Nice one for the Jets there. Next pack, we've got uh, Dustin Brown looking at the crown for the LA Kings. Nice canvas there. And the canvas photography, I like when they do the like unique shots that you wouldn't normally see on hockey cards. Just kind of gives like a little bit more of collectability to them. Uh, Libor Hajek Young Guns for the New York Rangers. Rangers getting a Young Gun now. Next up, we've got, uh, looks like base. Yeah, just base pack there. I want to see a day with the cup too, but those are super, super tough to pull, even in hobby. But retail, they're a little bit tougher, I think, actually. So uh, another base pack here. Next up, we have, should be something in here, hopefully. We've got uh, portraits of Brad Marchand for the Boston Bruins. Marchand for the Bruins portraits. And let me know how the focus scene is going still after a few boxes, um, if it's going in and out too much or whatnot. So just keep me updated on it. Uh, Martin Fay Harvey, Young Guns for the Washington Capitals. Want to make sure that it's it's good. I mean that's that's the whole point of this is to see all the cards, right? So uh, next up we have. Nice Young Guns canvas for the Toronto Maple Leafs of Dmitro Timoshov. Who had the Leafs? Ian with the Leafs. Nice one there with the Timoshov Young Guns canvas. So, so far we've hit... Have we hit a canvas in... Did, did we hit a canvas in the first... I don't think we did in the first box, but... We've hit one in the other two. And our game jersey for the Nashville Predators, Kevin Fiala. Nice Fiala jersey for the Predators there. Next pack, we have, uh, looks like just a base pack here. Yeah, just the base pack and halfway through this box, the final box of series one retail here. Let's see, we've already got a Quinn Hughes Young Gun from the first box, uh, Verhage for the Lightning Young Guns. Let's see if we can end off with another big name Young Gun here. One more big name one would be really, really solid. I mean, we got the Kako Rookie materials, which is actually pretty good. So, uh, portraits of Connor McDavid for the Edmonton Oilers. Nice McDavid portraits for the Oilers there. One more big one would be really nice, especially if it's out of Series 2, because that's that'd be kind of one big one from all of the products. Uh, this looks like another base pack here. I mean, we've got the Kako rookie materials, which I guess isn't quite the young guns, but it's still a really tough pull. And especially when he has no autographs or anything like that, definitely adds a little bit of extra value to it. So, uh, canvas of Brady Kachuk. Hopefully we see him in the box series two. Next pack. We've got uh, Taro Hyros, young guns for the Detroit Red Wings. He was all over that OPG Platinum break there. The, his Both of his autographs are like super short print. His regular one is a Group A and then the Calder Front Runner ones. It's just a really tough pull in general. So super cool to see his stuff pop out of that. He started off really hot too in his career. Next pack, here we go. We have uh, another base pack. They run a little bit hot again, as mentioned previously. 
Uh, they seem to just stack, so should be back to a normal scheduled hit here. And it is a rookie portraits of Kale McCarr. That's a good one to get, hey? Nice Kale McCarr portraits. For the Colorado Avalanche, who had the Avs? Uh, Paul Roberts with the Avs. And a Young Guns for the Philadelphia Flyers of Carson Toransky. Nice Toransky Young Guns there for the Flyers. A few packs to go here. Overall, kind of need one big Young Gun to close it off here. Uh, Miko Koivu Canvas for the Minnesota Wild. One big Young Gun in the close would be really make this box really solid. I mean, we got the Young Gun Canvas of Timoshov. Um, the Makar Rookie Portraits is decent. But let's see what's in the close here. Uh, looks like another base pack here. And two packs to go. Let's see what's hiding in them. We have, ooh, Shooting Stars Red for the Toronto Maple Leafs. These are the tougher ones to get of John Tavares. Nice Tavares Shooting Stars Red for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And final pack. Let's see what's hiding in the final pack of Series 1. I mean, we got a Quinn Hughes out of the first box. How's the second box going to end? With a Zach Sinishin, Young Guns for the Boston Bruins. Sinishin for the Bruins to end things off for Series 1. So, so far, I mean, Series 1, first box pretty good. Second box, eh, wasn't the strongest. But, I mean, you got a couple tough to hit, tougher to hit things with the Young Gun Canvas and the Shooting Stars Red. So, could be worse, could be worse. Make sure the base is stacked up properly. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let's do series two from last year again. Let's keep the keep the order the same here. So, uh, and we're gonna keep um, same thing as I know a lot of people want to see trilogy uh, kind of as the first kind of hobby box and then allure. So we'll go trilogy allure then artifacts and SP game use. I think that's just the best order for them in general. So. All right, here we go. Let's see, let's see a big young gun out of this one. I mean, we got the good program of excellence. Let's see something. Let's see something here. All right, here we go. And starting things off with the marquee rookie of Robert Thomas for the St. Louis Blues. Yeah, the Orem cards. It's actually kind of, they normally actually hold decent value, but this year they just didn't have quite the command, I guess because of uh, uh, Marquee Rookie Retro for the Chicago Blackhawks of Henry Yokoharu. Because uh, Bounty Redemption wasn't super strong this year. I think last year was Gretzky or the year before. So, I mean, people are going to want them more when it's a big name there, but um, the Orem Dual Autographs are sick. Uh, Isaiah Lundstrom, Rookie Portraits for the Anaheim Ducks. Yeah, the red ones are really cool as well. Like, I like the looks of them. It's just, as a hit, they kind of, you know, you you wish you'd rather have even a jersey card, so. Uh, first young gun here for the New Jersey Devils of Joey Anderson. Joey Anderson young gun for the Devils. I totally agree with you there. The dual autos are super, super nice of Orem as well. Uh, canvas of Philip Forsberg for the Nashville Predators. Forsberg canvas for the Predators. They've kind of been pretty solid so far. Uh, looks like a base pack here. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, our base pack. So. But yeah, the dual autos are super clean. Um, you know, obviously those ones are tough to do on card. Bozak update for the Blues. Uh, just because, you know, it's, uh, they're a very, like, reflective surface. And on card wouldn't really do well there. But I also saw, like, an insane on card patch auto of, of Crosby get pulled from that uh, the other day. Uh, Woolen in, Young Guns for the Ottawa Senators. And artifacts having on card stuff, like on card autos, is super cool. It's always cool when you get the opportunity to have the on-card stuff, and they're like super hard to hit, but the design of them is just really nice. 
Spencer Fu Portraits for the Flames. As uh, this is why I like kind of series two added in here is that it just gives a little bit of extra, a little bit of an extra kick to some of the teams that are normally traditionally weaker in series one and series two. So uh, from this year, Rourke Chartier Opechi rookie for the San Jose Sharks. Uh, like again, the Ducks and Flames both have a little bit of extra stuff in it, which is nice. So it's just a good balance. Uh, balances out the break really well. Uh, canvas of Eric Saul for the Minnesota Wild. <laughs> the thing with hockey heroes is that like it like there's only so many that you can do uh oh that's actually a good one for the washington capitals forgot about him Ilya samsonov young guns that's a good one right there he uh he's gone up a lot after his performances over the last little bit here so that's a really really good one to get good one there for the capitals who had the capitals paul schmitzko nice one there Mikhail Vorobiev, uh, rookie for the Philadelphia Flyers. When you pulled the Hockey Heroes header cards, though, you were happy because people collected that set and they wanted them. Uh, O'Reilly Retro for the St. Louis Blues. I like last year's retro design a little bit better, especially when it comes to, like, platinum. It just, I feel like it pops a little bit better than this year's, but they're both cool. Next up, Zach Aston Reese portraits for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Aston Reese portraits for the Penguins. There we go. Yeah, the cool facts, like whenever they do stuff with cool facts, it's always just cool to learn more about the sport, right? So, and there we go. The good one for the Flames of Yusuf Valimaki. Nice one there, Bill. That one's yours. Too bad he was injured for most of this year, but he's a really solid defenseman. Uh, definitely would have been a big figure on that blue line this year. Next year, I'll probably get some more playing time. Uh, canvas of Trocek for the Panthers. Trocek canvas for the Panthers. And what else is hiding in here? Uh, looks like our base pack. But yeah, stuff with like cool facts. I mean, even I'd like to see them for hockey heroes, even doing like a past and present thing. Like, so have like rookies with their favorite players or something like that. I think that could be really cool. Uh, nice Brady Kachuk, OPG rookie for the Ottawa Senators. And when I was sorting uh, sorting the mixer from last week, actually, there's one of the open ices the from Allure fell on top of one of the portraits from this year, and it kind of like highlighted the face perfectly. Uh, Jeremy Lausanne, uh, Young Guns for the Boston Bruins. And it'd be really cool because, like, you could have the current player on the card and then, like, the player they looked up to in it and then, like, have why. It'd be cool to see, like, a little bit more player personality in the cards. I think that'd be cool to see. Uh, Vorobiev, rookie portraits for the Flyas. But just stuff like that. I like when you get to see more about the player personalities. That's why I like autograph so much too right like you get to see kind of a little bit about the player through their autograph uh looks like another base pack here actually so we had two in this box uh, a couple packs to go then final box of series two retail coming up uh young guns canvas for the new york rangers of brett howden not a bad one i mean you're hoping it's like a pd but hey Young Gun canvases are better than a regular canvas. And how are we ending things off here? Final Young Gun is going to be Victor Edgesell for the Chicago Blackhawks. There we go. So Series 2 from last year did okay. I think it did pretty reasonable. Got a rookie materials, couple good. Uh, got the program of excellence. Got the Sam Snob Young Guns. Again, he is uh, someone that is doing really well on the secondary market right now. So and just in general in hockey, like uh, he's probably going to take over the starting role for the Blackhawks or Blackhawks. Why did I say Blackhawks? Uh, Capitals. Uh, so definitely one of those players that is a good one to get now and he'll probably be good for a long time. So very, very skilled goalie. All right, here we go. <laughs> 
I mean, again, I like this year's portraits, but just because they're kind of meme-y. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I like OPG. I know a lot of people complained about how much OPG was in Series 2 this year, but it's like, it's a regular amount. There's like maybe one or two more, but that's generally how Series 2 has always been. It's always been pretty um, pretty heavy on the update stuff, like the Brofsky update for the Panthers. And in the past, you used to have victory updates as well. I miss, I actually miss victory a little bit. You had all the different parallels and stuff like that. So next pack, we have a Jakob Voracek canvas for the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, so there are, there are variants just in hobby though. They have gold and blue, I think. Yeah, blues out of 25, golds out of, um, uh, starting off with the Lafferty Young Gun for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, gold's out of 99. So they're a little bit tougher to hit, but yeah, it'd be it'd be cool to see like a, a little bit more splash in there. Um, stuff like that. Uh, I mean, OPG Plat isn't in this one, but uh, Rampitlick Portraits for the Predators. Golden Treasure was, uh, the Golden Treasure Hunt was last week. So, as long as the title's correct. Uh, Marquee Rookie Blue of Jakob Lilia for the Columbus Blue Jackets. And I don't know if I called out the Portraits of Pitlick for Nashville, but that was the one before that. Next pack, we've got a Barrett Hayden, Marquee Rookie for the Arizona Coyotes. It's weird not seeing them shiny after doing Platinum. <laughs> but yeah golden treasures are super like oh well, there you go there's a good one for the montreal canadians nick suzuki young gun there you go patrick on the board there took a little bit to get your young gun but solid one at that and get him in the sleeve and top loader i feel like he's good enough to sleeve right away there you go and put him in the uh Put them in the good hit stack over there. So at the end, I think with the camera angle like this, I'll recap all the stuff. So uh, Petrangelo canvas for the, oh, I put the base cards on top of here again. Uh, Petrangelo canvas for the St. Louis Blues. So I'll just kind of grab the like top hits that I've put aside and we'll recap them at the end of the break as well, just in case you've missed any part of it or whatnot, so. Looks like our base pack there. But yeah, the golden treasures are cool. It's like it's like a super fractor and tops baseball. Those are super super tough pulls. Uh, Coleman rookie portraits for the Boston Bruins. Uh, but the design of them is just it's cool. I wish we saw like a green out of OPG last week. That would have been cool to see. Uh, Hag young guns for the Vegas Golden Knights. Hag for the Golden Knights. I feel like this is Merz Lickens. I feel like this is Merz Lickens group. Next up, we've got ourselves a Scott Sabarin, Retro Rookie for the Ottawa Senators. And last stack here of Series 1. So again, we'll go Trilogy, then Allure, then Artifacts, and SP Game Use, unless anyone has any other thoughts on the order there. Uh, Faraby, Marky Rookie for the Flyers there. So if anyone wants to see anything in a different order there, but I think we'll start with Trilogy and we'll end with SP Game Use just because those are kind of, you know, I feel like it's a good progression. And for the New York Islanders, there you go, Reason. Noah Dobson, Program of Excellence. Nice, two Program of Excellences. That's really good. I could say that's excellence. I'm sorry, that, that was really bad. But nice one there. You can join the uh, hit stack over here. Tough pulls. I love how they do that stuff with Hockey Canada though too. Same with like all the CHL stuff. Uh, Dmitry Timoshov, Young Guns for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Have his canvas, have his regular. I like the Team Canada set that comes up just cause it's cool to see how they highlight all the players and like the prospects, same with CHL. 
Uh, and I mean, Merce Lickens, rookie portraits for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, and then CHL in general, just because I love watching CHL hockey. It's so cool. Uh, and so seeing like the top players and stuff like that or getting rookies before their big names is cool. Uh, Boquist, uh, marquee rookie for the New Jersey Devils. Nice Boquist for the Devils on the marquee rookie there. A few packs to go here. So overall, I mean, every kind of version of retail brought it in some way, shape, or form. Uh, Taransky, rookie for the Flyers. We have two Program of Excellence canvases, uh, Suzuki and Hughes Young Guns. We got the rookie materials of Kako, and the Samsonov Young Guns actually is one not to sleep on there. And hey, he did show up. Elvis has entered the building, folks. Nice Elvis Merzlikens Young Guns there for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Who had the Blue Jackets? That was Taylor. Nice one there, Taylor. Few packs to go here. Really, really strong box of uh, Series 2 to finish us off. Domi canvas for the Canadians. But yeah, again, just overall, very, very strong uh, out of retail again. Retail is just such a good value product. Uh, ooh, that's actually a tough hit. Uh, Vet OPG Gold uh, update for the New Jersey Devils with PK Subban. Those are super tough pulls, I believe. They're probably what? Let's see if we can look at them here. They are uh, gold borders of vets are one in 960 packs. So like super tough pull odds wise. So very good one there for the Devils. Next up, you're tacking portraits for the San Jose Sharks. Yeah, I like seeing the really rare cards. Like sometimes they're not always the like highest valued ones, but they're just cool because, you know, they're tough to hit. Um, and nice one there as well for the Habs Ooh, as the base pile falls down. Uh, Beardman, if you are, hang on one second. Uh, nice Primu Young Guns for the uh, Canadians. Uh, if you are Taylor, then uh, yeah, that is yours. Yep, yeah, that one is yours at Merzlikens. So you have the blue jackets. And final pack here. I mean, really, really strong box to send us off with. And we got a cadre update for the Avalanche. All right. I mean, Series 1 and Series 2 retail brought the heat today. Lots of good rookies. Some good, uh, like, lesser or... Er, some good goalies in there too with Primu. You've got Primu, you've got Samsonov. Um, just overall really solid. So I'm just gonna shrink up the piles here so we can get ready for the hits to come out. So we'll start off with Trilogy, then we'll go to Allure, then we'll go to Artifacts, and then we'll finish on SP Game Used. Uh, I feel like that's a good order. So uh, and let's just get this hit stack kind of tucked out of the way here. There we go. That's good. We'll keep the young guns kind of over here. Ah, we can move them out of the way as well. So we'll move them out of the way. Give ourselves a little bit more space here. All right, and Kako can kind of go with the uh, the update. So we'll start with uh, we'll start with trilogy here, and then we'll work our way through all the way to SP Game Used. Nice, glad to hear it. Yeah, getting getting the program of excellence is are really nice. And again, that's why I like retail. Like your odds of getting them are the exact same as um as hobbies. So you know the stuff you're mainly looking for in the product is is there. Alright, here we go with trilogy. Last week we saw Jack Hughes jersey card as kind of the top hit. Uh what will we see this week? Yeah. Get the styrofoam out of the way. Fun fact, the styrofoam on this is thinner than SPX. <laughs> Not that it's a fun fact or anything like that, but here we go. Good luck, everyone. And uh, let's go from the other end, I guess, because this pack just doesn't want to open. Okay, nope, it's just not going to want to open. There we go. Uh, if I see something that's thicker like a patch, I'll save it till the end. But on top, we've got a Brandon Gignac, rookie renditions for the New Jersey Devils. 
And nice, next up for the Montreal Canadiens, a rookie premier's jersey out of four ninety nine dollars of Nick Suzuki. Nice Nick Suzuki jersey card there for the Habs. Patrick, that is yours. And then just a base at the end there. Let's put the decoys over here. Perfect. Trilogy and Allure are both kind of like hard products to kind of guess where stuff's going to be coming from. But I guess there's normally always a base on the back, so I'll try to remember that. Uh, that looks kind of patchy. I Should we save it? Yeah, I think we'll save that one. That looks like patch. We'll save that one. Looks like a patch. Uh, all right, well, this one isn't a base on the back. It's a base, it's a rookie renditions on the back here. So uh, we've got a base of Patrick Kane. Uh, rookie renditions of Max Jones for the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, Zach Sinitian, rookie renditions autograph for the Boston Bruins. And then on the back, a Cole Sherwood, rookie renditions out of 799 for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Let's see if it'll focus. There you go. Out of 799 there for the Blue Jackets. So uh, good stuff from this trilogy box so far, though. Decent rookie auto, decent jersey. Let's see what the last few packs here have. I think that's gonna be a patch. I'm not 100% sure though. I think this is a base on the back here. So we got a base, another base. Nice Quinn Hughes, rookie renditions for the Vancouver Canucks. And nice level three rookie premieres for the Arizona Coyotes of Barrett Hayden. That's a good one to get. If you're gonna get a level three, might as well be of a top rookie there. Uh, two packs to go here. Well, two packs, and then we'll do the one that looks like it's a patch. I'm not quite certain, but it's definitely thicker. So, And trilogy trilogy stuff that's a patch can be really, really nice. So uh, we've got, I think we've got a base on the back here. Yeah, we got a base on the back. Uh, it's two base. Fabro renditions for the Predators. And Teddy Bluger, rookie uh, premieres for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Number 949 out of uh, 999. Level one on that one. Yeah, it could be it could be a puck card. So reveal the logo first. I'll try to. I'll try to. Uh, we got a base on the back here. And Carl Grunstrom, renditions for the LA Kings. And nice, a level two of Dante Fabro for the Nashville Predators. So we did good with the uh, rookie portrait or Rookie premiers in this box. A level three and a level two, both of pretty solid players here. So uh, we'll try to do the logo. Um, try to see what way it goes here. But uh, we got base, base, and looks like it goes this way uh, for the Columbus Blue Jackets and Nikita Gusev rookie renditions. But the Columbus Blue Jackets, that Seth Jones. Seth Jones signature pucks for the Columbus Blue Jackets. There you go. Beardman, that is yours. Nice Seth Jones signature pucks. Nice auto there. We'll put you in the hit stack, I guess. Put you guys over there. That was a pretty solid box of trilogy, actually. Good stuff from that box. Yeah, you called it with the puck pull. Um, On to Allure, I guess. We'll go Allure next. Shrink the rookie stacks here a little bit. There we go. Move the base. Here we go. On to Allure. Uh, this one is double stickered. I love Seth Jones too. He's a really, really, really solid player. Yeah, I mean, you did. Columbus just does so well this year. They have so many good rookies. Got our packs. Box is empty. I'll just throw that in there. There we go. Here we go. So let's see. I mean, hey, we have saw a patch or a good card out of uh, Trilogy. Let's see if Alert can beat it. All right. So we'll go. I guess we'll just go off the back here till it hits. Uh, rookie of Cody Glass for the Vegas Golden Knights. Base. Base. Top 50 of Teddy Bluger for the Pittsburgh Penguins. And... Rudolph Balsers, rookie jersey, red rainbow jersey for the Ottawa Senators. Balsers, red rainbow jersey for the Ottawa Senators. 
Here, I'll slide these there. Base can go over here. Next pack. Allure is a tough one to kind of like know what way you're going to sort here. So uh, I'll take two off the back again. Uh, we got a High Rose rookie for the Red Wings. Uh, we've got base. Uh, another base here. Shifley. Hellebuck. A uh, pink diamond rookie here uh, for the Philadelphia Flyers of Philip Myers. And an orange slice of Rana for the Washington Capitals, number two, 199. Yeah, it was a Fabro, Fabro level two rookie premieres. Uh, what stack are you in? I think it's right here. It was this guy out of 499 there, so... It's still, it's still a decent one, though. I mean, anytime you hit from Trilogy in a mixer, right? Like, you're doing well. All right, looks like we got a rookie on the back here. And some die cuts. Uh, we're just going to go straight down the middle here. Uh, Farabee top 50 for the Flyers. Uh, Victor Olsen, rookie white for the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, base. Base and Wallstrom rookie for the Islanders. <laughs> All right, let's see what's hiding in this pack. We got a uh, base, another base. Winter Storm warming, warning of Rasmus Dahlin for the Buffalo Sabres. And nice rookie red autograph for the Detroit Red Wings of Taro Hyros. Numbered out of 349 on that one. And a rookie of Paling at the bottom here. I'll just show the numbering here. Out of 349. Nice one there of Hyros. Keep him to the side. He's following us a little bit, eh? Got him in uh got him in OPG Platinum a couple of times. So let's see I'll, let's see what else is hiding here. We've got uh let's go off the back. Let's take two off the back here. Dobson Island or rookie for the Islanders, Max Jones for the Ducks. Uh Oliver Ekman Larson base, Texier rookie for the Blue Jackets, Cody Glass top 50 for the Vegas Golden Knights, and Claude Giroux rainbow, red rainbow for the Philadelphia Flyers. Not numbered on that one. All right, I think we have one hit left in the lure. I think, if I remember correctly, we did actually did really well in our alert box too because we hit the quartz auto, and generally it's a one auto product, so. Let's take two off the back here. We got Sandine for the Leafs. Uh, Senishim for the Bruins. Uh, base. Base. Rem Pitlick. This is the SP rookie for the Nashville Predators. And, hey, Seth Jones for the Columbus Blue Jackets. White rainbow. Nice white rainbow for the Blue Jackets there. If Seth Jones go with that signature puck. Two packs to go here. And what else did we get? I think we got, yeah, we got the Hayden, uh, the green one. I think we have a green one here, actually. Uh, base, base, another base. Barrett Hayden, rookie for the Arizona Coyotes. Uh, Joey Dacker, top 50 for the Ottawa Senators. And Tyler Sagan, uh, green quartz out of 99, numbered 95 out of 99. Nice Tyler Sagan for Dallas there. Love the look of those. Look. The, like cracked kind of stuff with that like cracked ice that's panini calls it cracked ice so that's just whenever i see it i always call it the cracked ice parallel but um it's a really cool parallel and i'm glad to see upper decks bringing it in, bringing it in because both uh both tops and uh uh whatchamacallit uh panini use it so base 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 another base uh open ice of David Pashmack for the Boston Bruins and Jack Eichel, White Rainbow for the Buffalo Sabres. I guess we got an extra hit with the Quartz Auto last week is what it is. Cool. So that's the box of Allure. Highlights definitely the uh, High Rose Auto there. But lots of rookies out of it. That's the thing with Allure is that there's just so many, you get so many rookies and stuff out of it. So, all right, here we go. Artifacts time. Yeah, let's go. 
get that and then get this. That should be good enough. Ugh. Nope, it didn't want to pop there. Come on, there we go. <laughs> Sometimes these stickers are just a little bit on the stubborn side. Here's your bounty paper, don't need that. All right, if we need the rookie checklist for a wild card again, uh, I will pull it up and I will let you know, but um, yeah, good luck. Hopefully we, see a, hopefully we see something cool. Again, anything that looks kind of patchy, we'll save to the end just because artifacts, patches are a thing there. So uh, starting things off, we got a Taylor Hall to 299. I believe that's a copper parallel for the Devils. Taylor Hall copper parallel for the Devils. Next up, that doesn't seem patchy to me. Seems decoy -y to me. We'll go two off the back here. Uh, and well, we have a wild card rookie redemption. It is 215. Is that Kubalik? I think that might be Kubalik. I'm just gonna pull it up here quickly. Uh, 1920 upper deck artifacts rookie redemption and Kubalik. Yeah, 215 is Dominic Kubalik. Kubalik. So that's for the Chicago Blackhawks. Number 215. So nice one there for the Blackhawks. Uh, focus there. So that one is a Chicago Blackhawks hit. Again, it goes to the team that's listed on the redemption. Uh, this is a jersey card, so we can just use this one. It's not a patch. Kubalik's a good one to get. So, uh, nice for the Pittsburgh Penguins dual jersey of Evgeny Malkin to 125. Nice Malkin to 125. Almost had the eBay one of one there. Numbered 124 out of 125. Uh, doesn't look like anything major there. Let's see. We're going to have... Looks like we got a red for the Calgary Flames of Johnny Gaudreau, numbered to 399. Base ruby parallel there. Gaudreau for the Flames. And this doesn't seem patchy to me, so we can keep going. Go from the back here. And... Oh, looks like we got another redemption. What's it going to be? Oh my goodness. SP2 autographed rookie redemption. Who is SP2? This is a big, big, big pull here. Um, we got to pull up that artifacts checklist again here. Oh boy. Rare rookie. Is this a rare rookie's autograph? I'm guessing. Because if it is, that means it's uh, that means it's Kale McCarr. And yep, for the Colorado Avalanche, Kale McCarr SP2 autographed rookie redemption. That is what is on the checklist. So Colorado, who had the Avalanche? That's a monster hit for Paul. What a hit there. We hit the regular SP2 and now the autographed one. Wow. What a hit here. I'll uh, pull up the checklist after the break just to kind of show everyone that those are uh, those are correct. But that's a big hit. Those, I think, are numbered like really, really low. Those are really tough hits, if I remember correctly from previous years. Uh, nice. Emerald of William Carlson for the Vegas Golden Knights. That's a big, big, big pull though. Wow, <laughs> what a box. Got a good rookie redemption, got a wicked autograph there. That is really, really crazy. Uh, Max Domi, red out of 399 for the Montreal Canadiens. Holy cow, wow. And we got one more hit. Maybe this might be an Orem card to end things off on, but it could be a jersey, we'll see. See how it ends off. And it is a Brendan Gallagher jersey card for the Montreal Canadiens, number two, 165. Nice Gallagher jersey to end things off there. Wow. 
What a pull there with that Makar rookie redemption. Whew. That is massive. Uh, we'll keep the Kublik to the side just so people are... Uh, we'll pull up the checklist at the end here just to show everyone that those are indeed the right players. So again, congrats to everyone so far. Good luck in SP game used. Reason said, let's see a net cord. So let's see one. I mean, you'll be able to tell as soon as you open up the box whether or not you have a net cord. So, uh, we probably won't have a net cord. It's a little bit of a thinner pack here, but thin packs can always be good here. So here we go. Good luck, everyone. Thank you again. Let's uh, open things up and go from there. So I think it's two off the back or one off the back. Uh, starting things off, we have a Joel Parison, authentic rookies out of 294 for the Edmonton Oilers. We'll go off the back here with one. Uh, Mario Ferraro, jersey for the San Jose Sharks out of 599. Uh, do we go off the back? Um, yeah, we'll go off the back again. Nice for the Calgary Flames. Johnny Gaudreau, All Star Fabrics. Johnny Gaudreau, All Star Fabrics for the Calgary Flames. Then, nice. Oh, we skipped a card there. We'll get back to that guy. But uh, Eric Carlson, base out of 275 for the San Jose Sharks. And then a beautiful draft day marks for the Anaheim Ducks of Max Jones, who had the Ducks. Paul with the Ducks as well. Paul Schmitz go cleaning up. And last hit, we'll go, goes this way. See what it is. We got tools of the game patch of Frederick Anderson, numbered to, I believe that's numbered to 50. Yeah, numbered to 50 for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So there we have it. That is the break, everyone. So just gonna throw up the, um, the checklist here quickly just to show everyone that those were the rookie redemptions. Uh, so we got this over here. Uh, so first off, the wild card rookie redemption, which was 215, uh, is Dominic Kublik. So that is for the Chicago Blackhawks. And then the SP2, uh, which is a rare rookie's autograph, is Kale McCarr for the Colorado Avalanche. So those were kind of the two big things out of artifacts. And then let's get a recap on the hits here as well. Uh, where do we start? Uh, let's just start. Let's just go top to bottom here. So uh, we had actually let's start in series one, I guess. So we had the program of excellence of Noah Dobson, uh, the Nick Suzuki Young Guns, uh, Quinn Hughes Young Guns, and Matthew Joseph program of excellence. We also hit a Capo Caco rookie materials for the Rangers, and then out of uh, actually out of trilogy, we had three pretty strong hits. We had the Barrett Hayden. Rookie Premier's level three out of two ninety nine for the Coyotes. Uh, the Nick Suzuki jersey out of four ninety nine for the Canadians. And then this nice Seth Jones on card auto of the Signature Pucks from Trilogy as well. Uh, artifacts just the SP two autograph rookie redemption of Kale McCarr is massive. And finally, kind of the two main hits out of SP Games were the Max Jones draft day marks and the Freddie Anderson tool of the game patch. So, anyways, everyone. Thank you for coming out. Uh, see you Saturday for the uh, next break. Uh, as always, there's two more breaks uh, coming up in the next week. So on the 20, I believe it's the 30th. Yeah, on the 30th, we have the second half of the Series 1 versus Series 2 hobby battle. The first half will be on this Saturday. The second half will be on Thursday. So link for that is there. And then after that, uh, on May 2nd, it's the 10 box inner of credentials. That's a new release from upper deck. Uh, if you're not familiar with what it'll look like, it'll kind of look like if you're familiar with Panini contenders at all, like kind of rookie ticket base. There's lots of rookie content. There's some cool inserts and stuff in that. So be sure to check that one out as well. Both are linked in Twitch chat and then they'll also be linked in YouTube. Uh, thank you again, everyone and see you next time.